got away with murder in this game. Angola are at plus 270. Burkina Faso, plus 135. Burkina Faso, uh, l many, many fans prior to this tournament. And uh, they've just sort of tiptoed into the competition so far. The draw is at plus 175. Burkina Faso at minus 250 to score the minus one four. I've got to go with uh, Burkina Faso, but I'm not overly confident, Kwaku. Yeah, it's a difficult one to call uh, this game. That's why I've left this one alone. Um, Burkina Faso uh, and Angola, they've had the same results in this competition. Both narrowly beat Mauritania in very, very different games. Burkina Faso in a more understated fashion, whereas Angola versus Mauritania was probably the game of the competition so far. And they both had draws against Algeria. Again, both very, very different draws. So this is a very difficult one to call. You wouldn't be surprised if this game ended the draw. And these are both teams that you would have looked at before the tournaments at being dark horses. Burkina Faso seem to be perpetual dark horses. Um, and they both know that going into this game, they've got a chance, really. I'm not calling for collusion here, but they've got a chance to see um, Algeria, who won the favourites, go out of this competition, depending on how their result goes in the other game in this group. And so it's going to be a difficult one to call. And that's why I said I left it alone. Yeah, I love it. I uh, love the chat, by the way, of Vanster saying, uh, Capo Verde, uh, we're here and we're here to stay. Yeah, let's hope you are because you've been an absolute breath of fresh air. And for me, uh, I love that type of behavior. Uh, Angola, Burkina Faso, uh, because I digressed. It's a, it's, a, it's a strange, strange game because I don't know what the teams actually need to, to progress, to be honest, Zach. Uh, and they've got to, they're not, their squad's not as deep as some of the big guns, so they've got to make sure that they look after themselves as well. Yeah, it's been a really impressive start to the AFCON for Angola, taking four points from two and entering the fi final match day in first place. But I do think they are going to have a, a tough time coming away with a second straight victory as they take on Burkina Faso. The Stallions rode their luck in the opener but escaped with a last-second penalty victory against Mauritania. They were able to come away with another penalty goal to restore the lead only to get burnt on two separate set piece scenarios and cough up two points at the death to Algeria but they do enter the match in brilliant form haven't lost since June uh, they they've trailed just once this season in official competitions and after leaving it late in the first two matches I think they're gonna try to take care of business early on as they look to snatch first place from Angola's grasp the Palancas Negras have conceded 30 shots in their first two matches. They're a very open side that could struggle against Burkina Faso's pace and physicality up front. Uh, like like you said, they've been a breath of fresh air, you know, really impressive. And they are playing with house money, essentially, given the low expectations. But I do think that Burkina Faso's su superior individual quality and attack is going to come up clutch. I think the Stallions come away with a victory here. Yeah, uh, well, Foxy says uh, this is one group where top three go through for sure. Uh, it's great. And, and this is where I'm uh, a bit I'm in an hour in because I don't know who. Uh, once we get to knockout round, I don't, because there's nothing between, say, 85% of the sides that are going to be in a knockout round. I don't, I don't know if you care for your first, second or third. I think it's just getting out of these groups. Um, Quaker, would you just, just a quick one? Would you think that this is just a split game and both teams are going to be happy with the draw? Possibly, quite possibly. You expect in the other game in the group, which we're going to move on to very soon, that like it's going to go one way. And so you look at it, and I don't disagree, all three teams in this group, all three top teams in this group could go through. So it might get to the 60th minute and you see the pace slow down in the game because both teams know that a draw is good enough. And like you said, Flash, whether you finish first, second or third in the group, I don't know if it really matters in this AFCON where we've seen surprises and shocks galore. You just need to get out of your group and see what happens and see where you draw because who would have before the tournament say Kate Bird would be one of the de most dangerous teams in the competition? Not me, not any of us here. And so just get through your group. Oh, well, you speak for yourself. You speak for yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 yeah, let's have a little look at yeah. the official picks. Angola versus Burkina Faso. We've just had to sit on the fence here a little bit. With uh, only Zach, because he's just compulsive, uh, he's gone for Burkina Faso. Money line at plus 135. That's